So this is a quick tip about single select. So I'm going to show you the default behavior when I take a single select and bind it to data from, let's say, we'll show the name of employees over here. Um, if I switch to live mode and I open the list, we do a fetch, fetch the data, and then if I type something, it's going to highlight the employees that uh, answer the condition. Okay, so if I type JA, it's going to highlight employees that have JA in there. Now, in some cases, people don't just want to highlight, they want to limit the list to just those employees. Um, there's a way to do it, but it's not trivial um, to find out. So this is what this um, video is about. To do that, you're going to need to change the variable that is populating your list. So your list is going to be getting its data from a service data provider, usually. And if you go to your service data provider definition over here, you can add one more property to it, um, and you'll need to do it in the code. So click here to go to the code where your service data provider is defined. This is in your JSON view of your application. And what you're going to do here is you're going to add one more attribute called transforms context. Okay, so that's the attribute. And then you have inside it a VB text filter attribute or attributes that has an array of the fields that you want to filter on. Okay, so I can, for example, have here name and we can also add a country. Okay, so those are two fields um, in my SDP. So now let's go back to my um, page. And now when I pop up the list and I type, for example, Dave, okay, you can see only Dave is left in the list. Also, if I type in US, I'll get a bunch of employees. All those employees are actually working in the US. So you can see in the data for the business object that the country would be US. 